Greetings from Tromaville. You know, down through the ages, Troma has achieved great fame as a pathfinder, as a pioneer in digital technologies. And that's why we're known as producing movies of the future. And today, instead of the usual uh, Troma DVD introduction, I thought I'd take you on a tour of the fabulous Troma Digital Studios and how we have advanced the science of, of digital technology for a very small budget. As you will see, Troma has paved the digital highway for such stalwart geniuses as Michael Bay, Brett Ratner, and Zack Snyder. For our upcoming Tro masterpiece, the Toxic Avenger goes to Yemen and becomes sanitary, we wanted to explore this exotic location. You know, Yemen is a small country located right in between Indiana and Italy. But because Troma just doesn't have any money, we couldn't go to Yemen and actually shoot, and the Toxic Avenger is too big a star to travel. So we brought Yemen here through the magic of Troma Digital Studios. There is a scene in Toxic Avenger Part 5 where Toxie is being followed. He's in a car and he's being followed by his protectors, an armed Yemeni army escort with a big gun. But we couldn't create that, so we took a, a small group of, of hardworking, trauma uh, employee lowlife, and we magically, using a small uh, a water pistol or a little gun that was laying around here, we magically, through digital technology, recreated a pretty realistic looking uh, Yemeni army escort. But remember, it's not real. The gun looks incredibly real, but here, you take a look for yourself. I think you'll be very impressed in how we transform some trauma humans into these gun-wielding Yemeni protectors. In the Toxic Avenger Part 5, uh, Toxie's uh, offspring, the Toxic Twins, will have a, uh, a pet goat in the uh, scene. And um, we, we've got Rupert, our trauma toy, our hobby horse. And again, through incredible hard work and uh, what we call the brown screen, we've been able to transform Rupert into this very, very lifelike looking uh, goat. Oh, somebody's coming. One of the important themes of Toxic Avenger Part 5 is going to be the cultural differences between the American women and the local Yemen culture. And uh, through the magical uh, CGI, we took a simple thing, uh, like a sneeze, and we decided we would use that to convey this very sophisticated sociological theme. So watch what happens when we have a uh, person here in the trauma basement sneezing and voila, an amazing cultural comparison in Yemen. Here's the before. And now the after. We needed to show some editing rooms in Yemen because Toxie's uh, involved in the Yemen uh, US uh, movie industry. So using the mat, the, the clone tool uh, of Photoshop, and of course our good friend Compositing, I was able to ingeniously transform the third world editing room in the Troma building into an actual third world Yemen editing room. Here's the before. And now, the after. Mumtaz! Mumtaz! The transformation is, is indeed seamless. Another theme of the Toxic Avenger 5 is going to be homosexuality. Now, in most Islamic countries, of course, homosexuality is not just frowned upon, but it's punishable by death. At Troma, of course, we encourage it and we reward it. So, 
being a controversial filmmaker, I decided that I would show the, the wonderful man-to-man -man spirit that we have here at Troma and show how true love can transcend the American borders and, and waft its way to Toxie in Yemen. Take a look and call me Chino. Here's the before. Watch carefully or you won't notice that the uh, change is uh, seamless. And now, the after. As many of you know, I like to put myself in my movies and give myself a little cameo acting appearance. Well. Again, through the magic of digital transportation, I've been able to transform my American peasant clothing into a very sophisticated Yemen aristocratic costume. <laughs> And, you know, I, I don't eat meat, I don't eat chicken, I'm, I'm kind of a fishitarian. And we wanted to express that theme in The Toxic Avenger, showing that uh, the sheep and women and uh, faggots, being uh, those are called sticks, they're not what you think they are. And, and uh, we used one of our uh, beautiful uh, trauma office people and uh, some trauma employees, and then we were able to uh, brown screen them uh, into uh, a Yemeni pastoral situation protecting the animals. Here's the before. And now, the after. So there you have it. You've gotten a bonus lesson on the miracles of digital technology. And don't forget, all of the things you've just seen, you can do it at home as you direct your own damn movie. Now, let's watch.